afternoon and good evening. Hi, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be using the Cricut Maker. If you did not watch my unboxing video that I did yesterday, go ahead and watch it. I will link it here or here. I get confused which one it is, but it's going to be here or here. So I'm so, so excited to do this video. Uh, I've been waiting to open this, the Cricut as you guys know, so I finally got it open and unboxed. I am going to be trying a new product today. So I want to mention that in every video, I'm going to be giving away $5 worth of AJ Bucks. That is from my AJBlinks.com website. And in order to qualify to win, you have to be subscribed, turn on your bell notifications, and comment down below. Also, like this video. The winner will be selected at random from the comments um, of the previous video. So, um, the winner for this video will be chosen from the last video, so on and so forth. So, I just wanted to mention that real quick. So, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So, today, we are going to be using a new product to make a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. So, I am super, super, super excited. And that new product is... Stalls' Cad Cut Soft Foam Heat Transfer Vinyl. So, this is what it looks like. I have the camel color. As you see, it's like thicker than uh, normal heat transfer vinyl, but you would apply it the same exact way in terms of you mirror it on the Cricut. Every, the application process is the same. You peel cold though, but it is super, super soft. So we're gonna try this out on a sweatshirt today and a t-shirt. So this is the design I want to put on a shirt. I went ahead and made this in Adobe Illustrator. So I just save, I export it as SVG and upload it into Cricut. So let it do that. So I'm a new project, upload, and click trust the process and insert. So I wanna make this two different, um, what's it called? Two different colors. So I want trust and process to be the new Stalls Soft Foam Heat Transfer Vinyl. So I want it to be that camo color and then I want the the to be white. So the white will be normal Stalls Ultra Weed uh, Heat Transfer Vinyl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to combine and weld each word. So trust, I'm gonna go ahead and weld it. So now trust is one word, but I want to leave it straight. <laughs> Don't want to move it too much. And then the the, make it one word, and then process. So I'm command clicking each letter and then clicking weld. Now I do, let's see how long this is. So this is 11 point, about 11.5 inches. I do want to make it uh, taller, wider this way <laughs> um, because it is 1.7 inches. So let's see if we can get it to two without it looking a little weird. So yes, we have it to two inches now. So it's two by 11.5. Um, if you wanted to turn it sideways on the Cricut, and you can make it like up to 24 inches if you wanted to, but because I'm a medium, the 11.5 inch is more than enough for my shirts. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna command click the trust and the process, and I'm gonna weld those together. That way, I don't have to try to line them up completely straight. So they're gonna be cut straight to each other it'll just be one piece and then the the well this i wanted to change the color so that i know this is the camel color so let me see if i can find a camel looking color that is totally yellow all right we'll just go with that so trust and then the i want it to be white so that's what that's going to look like. So I'm going to be putting this on with these colors on black shirts. So I'm going to do this one twice. And then I want another one. So I'm going to highlight it all, command copy. But I want this one, the whole thing to be white. This one's going to be all ultra weed. So let me make it white. And then I'm going to weld the entire thing together. Let's move the over a little bit. All right. Selected everything and I'm going to weld it. So now, so now this is going to be one entire piece of Ultra Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl. And I want this one twice. So, because I have two shirts. Just, one's a hoodie, one's a t-shirt. I know that I could just click like copies or something, but I'm not there yet. I'm still a little basic. So I'm going to click make it. Um, cause I know you guys had mentioned project copies, but I think it'll apply more if I was just doing, um, you know what I mean. If I was just doing one entire design, but not two different designs, I'm not sure, but I'm doing it the way I know right now. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut the, uh, the vinyl and the soft foam. I had some white vinyl scraps. That's why you save your scraps. They come in handy. Go ahead and put this on the mat. And I'm going to click continue. I'm going to choose everyday iron on, but choose more pressure. Fast mode. And then click the flashing button. Okay, so because I've never uh, cut this before, I want to go ahead and weed it to make sure that it's cut perfectly and fine. Um, because obviously there's not a setting on, <laughs> on the Cricut for soft foam, so I want to see if that worked or not. Also, this is a weeding panel from Stalls as well. Um, it, warm, it gets warm so that it helps weeding things, so um, I'll put the link to this in the description as well if you're interested. So I already like weeding this a lot more. Here is a better idea of what it looks like. Um, super soft. I like weeding this more than I do the uh, the normal vinyl because it isn't um, it isn't so so I find it easier to actually bend. Can you even see that? If you bend, you can see you can just pull it right up. Versus you probably don't even need a weeder. You just pull it. Um, if you have nails, I guess. But it isn't staticky, I guess is the word for normal vinyl. You know how it gets stuck to each other, it gets stuck everywhere. This doesn't really get stuck like um, normal heat transfer vinyl. So I wish all vinyl was like this. All right. So, hey, okay, so those settings work. So everyday iron on and then just change the pressure to more pressure. So that worked. Because this vinyl is normal ultra weed, I'm gonna go ahead and change the setting for this one to default pressure. This is what the back of it looks like. It looks like cork board is what it reminds me <laughs> of the back. Um, but the front is a lot, uh, just camel color. So 
We're gonna go ahead and put these on the sweatshirt and t-shirt and see how they turn out. So for the hoodie, we're gonna be using the Just Hoods brand. This is my favorite hoodie brand because they're super, super soft. For the t-shirt, I use the Gildan Easy Print shirts. They're soft as well. But I also use these for my DTG printer, so I'm not buying more than one shirt especially black, so they work perfectly fine. They're great quality as well. And for the uh, white Ultra Weed hoodie, I'm gonna do it on this one. And it is also a Just Hoods brand, so again, these are the best hoodies in my opinion. It's just super soft on the inside, like super duper 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 soft. You guys, you, if you buy my merch, <laughs> you probably already got one of these. Okay, so I have the Stahl's Hotronics Fusion IQ heat press. This one says, uh, for the soft foam, 300 degrees for 15 seconds, medium, low, medium pressure. So it's about a three or a four. So with the sweatshirt, that might be enough pressure um, because this is nothing outside. So I'm just gonna test the pressure out real quick to see if it is a three to four pressure. And see with the hoodie, it's a seven. So I have to lower the pressure some more. Perfect. Now you always want to heat your you always want to heat your garments first to get the moisture out. Um, so I usually do about five seconds, and then you also want a lint roll because there's always little fibers everywhere, and you want to make sure that you're adhering the transfer straight to the garment, not to the little lint fibers. So to find the center point, I'm gonna go ahead and fold the shirt or the sweatshirt in half, and then I'm gonna heat it so that I have the center point. For hoodies, I like to thread them onto the platen because it is so much easier to, you know, make sure it's straight and lined up and center. Like this is completely like 100% perfectly straight and centered. So here's the center point. And when I go to put the transfer on, even though it's gonna be upside down to me, it's helpful to have this straight line to match it up against. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half. I'm folding it in half, I'm having that bot the back, like the end of the letters touch one another. So I know it is the center. I'm going to line that crease up with the shirt, with the center point on the sweatshirt. Okay, so I could tell it's perfectly centered because if you look at this grid, one, two, and you see where it ends at that black dot right there. Then over here, one, two, and it ends at the black dot. So. It's perfectly centered on the shirt. And um, now we are going to see if it is all the way straight. And to do that, I put this uh, OmniGrid ruler on the edge of the heat press so it's lined up perfectly. The easiest way is to look at the letters and see if they touch the blue, the green line all the way down. So you can see this side is further down than this side. So either this side comes up or that side goes down. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it real quick. So for this one, we're supposed to peel cold, so I am just gonna wait a few seconds. I'm probably gonna take it off the heat press just so that I can air it out to cool it down quicker. I usually do this with screen print transfers as well. Um, I find that having them cool first before you peel um, helps it adhere better. Cause usually if I peel it hot, it just like doesn't stay. So I'm gonna cool it down for a second and then we're gonna put on the, 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 the. Let's go ahead and peel it.
Now we're gonna put the the on it. All right, and we're gonna heat this. One final piece. I wish you guys can feel it because it's raised. Um, it's like an emboss. It's super, super soft and it feels just like foam, <laughs> just like the name. So, oh, this is awesome. So they do have different colors. They have like red, blue, gold, um, white, black, um, gray, I believe. So I'll put the link to these in the description. But it'll just change the game for you. Not a lot of people even offer this or know it exists. It'll take your business to the next level to have something different. Like it gives definition to the, cause it's just like, it's cool. Someone probably doesn't even expect it and it's like, oh wow, it's raised. That's awesome. Oh, there you go. This is awesome. I love this. I'll put these, there's gonna be a limited quantity though on Angela Jasmina. I don't have a lot of the soft foam, um, but I will put this up. This is so, okay, let's do the t-shirt next. Do it the same exact way I just did the, um, So here is the t-shirt version. I think these turned out super, super cute. So if you look at it from this angle, you can kind of see how it's raised for these, whereas the vinyl is flat, but the soft foam vinyl is raised, embossed, whatever. I think these are my favorite thing I have made. It just looks so professional. Like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. So here it is on me. I make myself laugh so much. So that is it for today's video. Today's post notification shout out and $5 AJ Bucks winner is Coffee Powered Home. Thank you so much for all your support. Please make sure to reach out to us at info.ajblanks at gmail.com so we can get those AJ Bucks to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And remember, if you want to be the next winner, you need to make sure you give a comment under this video. Give it a thumbs up and share, share, share. All right, guys. Bye. So I want to mention that, so I want to mention that, so that is it for today's video, so today's post notification, so, so, oh my god,